Welcome back to another episode of Problematic Podcast. The first one of Black History Month. Yeah, the first one of Black History Month. How you feeling? Good. You know? You getting your uh, Black History Month privileges at the job? No. None? No. They don't care about those. That's fucked up. They said white, black, Spanish, y'all slaves here. <laughs> <laughs> they have slavery. That's crazy. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of black history, you What's see uh, they got rid of the fade. It's now called the Travis Kelce. Just that's what people are going to the barbershops and asking for. Who's going to the barbershop and asking for a Travis Kelce? I have no idea. Black I, people? I, I, I know black people's not doing that. What kind of, what kind of fade is it? A regular ass fade. Who's calling it the Travis Kelce? Fox News. Yeah, you could have been said that it was. That's crazy. Same people that uh said Taylor Swift invented the swag surf. They called it the swag surf when they said she invented it. I don't think like they it did. wasn't called anything different. They was like, they, they was like the swag surf. No, invented. they said they said the new dance Taylor Swift did. That's crazy. But I mean, the song is called Swag Surfing, so maybe that's why they. They thought that's the name of it. So the song's called Swag Servant. There's clearly no Taylor Swift ties on that song because I'm pretty sure that shit came out when she was like eight mm-hmm. or younger. Yeah, and they still, it's, it's a new dance because Taylor Swift was on it. Yeah. But everybody else in the crowd was doing it too at the same time. Right, Which right. Which is crazy. She invented it. She, mm-hmm. she was like, this is what we're doing at this game today. Christopher Columbus did. She did she, that was on her TikTok or something. She was like, "This nah, is what we're doing. We're was, gonna do swag surf." It was just, uh, I guess, the NFL cameras or somebody's camera caught her doing it, and that was it. Did she did she initiate it? No. So she didn't even initiate it. She was just in the middle of a swag surf, like she got caught in the wave, so to say. And yep, that's how it went. The news is treacherous as fuck. As fuck. Uh, this is a dirty. This is a dirty place. <laughs> uh, speaking of treacherous, what you seen? What uh, that treacherous little twin did to Aiden Ross? Who? Twenty one. Oh yeah 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 with the uh the cards. Yeah. You think he really did that shit? Yep. For real? Mm-hmm. You know how the United Kingdom people be. Can't trust them dudes from the UK. I used to have a pack of cooked cards too, but they were like, they're like magicians' cards. You know what I mean? So you always know, like you could read the uh, the fine detail on the back and kind of see which card was on. And you know, you'd have to. In it was front. like it was like a little code in the four corners, so you would know which card was in this person's hand. You wanted to be a magician? <laughs> yeah. I don't think they had cards like that, though. I think they were just scratching the back of face cards. So you can kind of tell, like, what they kind of got in their hand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So he got caught on camera streaming Mm -hmm. with Aiden Ross. Yep. That's crazy. And he he was, like, I guess he was down, like, 250K and came up. But then Aiden was like, nah, like we, we'll, we'll call it even. I'm guessing he didn't want to have no smoke with 21. Right. Well, I guess 21 paid him, though. That's what uh, Aiden told Kai. The 21 paid him? Mm-hmm. After getting caught? Mm-hmm. By everybody. Because I seen like a little clip of it. So like people could see on the stream that he was reading these, these crooked cards. Yeah. Um. That's, cr- that's crazy. <laughs> it is. How do you think he was going to get away with that? Nah, what you do is you do that shit quick. You have your team come pick the cards up when y'all done playing, and then y'all move on to the next thing. Okay. Is that what happened? That's what they were trying. I guess that's what they were trying to do. Yeah, that's wild. I see 21, like, try to get the nigga banned from the hood and shit. Does he he be in the hood? Not the hood. Like, Atlanta, and I think he said hip-hop. Uh-oh. Like he can't do no more hip hop shit. That's crazy. Yeah. 
That is really, really crazy. Didn't he delete it right away? Yeah. But sometimes the post and delete joints, it's like the easiest type of content for to media catch. companies to fake. They can nah. fake it. But people be seeing it. Up. Yeah, people, people be seeing it. Hell yeah. Yeah. What did Drake say? The, the tweeters and deleters? The tweeters and deleters. Speaking of Drake, you see your, your boy Yasmin Bey, how he was dressed? <laughs> he was... He had on a did that, skirt. Did that look hip hop to you? No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't look man hip hop. <laughs> it, it didn't look female hip hop. Nah, I could have like Ice Spice could have wore something like that. Hell no, that nigga was fully fully covered. No, he you're had, right. You're he had right. on a skirt, leggings, and long boots. Yeah, he's wild for that. Or like shorts or something, and a jacket with a scarf, and nut ass glasses. He just looked like a fool. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you talk shit about Drake. The people release pictures like that of you. Mm -hmm. How you look every day. Every day. Looking like a nut. That's ridiculous, man. And he had the nerve to tell a nigga he not hip hop a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and then dressing like that. <laughs> that nigga is crazy. Oh, man. And then. He uh, he uh, made a video, though. Who made a video? Most, Most Bay. Most Bay. What you mean he made a video? In uh, that in that fit? Mm, nah, nah. He made a video like kind of explaining how he meant about that whole Drake thing. Kind of like backpedaling a little bit. But of course, yeah, like tweeting and deleting. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Somebody said Jay Prince and Chubbs was on the other side of the camera with a gun. <laughs> I believe it. That's crazy. I fully believe it. Fully, fully, fully believe it. Uh, speaking of uh, rap beef, Megan's still coming out on top over there. Oh, yeah. She got the new deal, the distribution. She gets to keep all her masters in publishing. Mm -hmm. And she she definitely is winning this round of the beef with Nikki. It's over. Nikki can't respond no more. Yeah. If Meg don't say nothing else, it's all good because Nikki just took a, a, clear, a clear loss. Not even... Not even a loss for the team, just a fucking L. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. <laughs> that shit was real bad. Why'd she do us like that? I don't know. And I like I seen people saying, "Oh, Nikki cooked her, Nikki this," and uh, oh, nah, top five was, on the Billboard. No, nah, I, I listened know. to that shit like four times, and I was like, "There was no, there was no cooking going on. Like it were good jokes, but they were not hard bars. You nah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, it wasn't. Nah, no way. And then the barbs going crazy, threatening everybody. He was coming at Nikki, apparently on Meg's mom's grave doing that shit. I don't even want to believe that shit. That shit just sounds so wild. Like, Nikki has the worst fans ever. Because mm -hmm. they're not even like, I don't even want to say they're hip hop fans. They're just confused dickheads. Yeah. <laughs> the barbs. They're, they're terrible people. Yeah. These barbs are terrible people. <laughs> shit is ridiculous. I'm tired of them. Ugh. And then I space on Lotto, they still going back and forth. Why? I don't know. They're not even like lyrical enough for this. One of you clearly gets your music written by twenty one. The other one, you just shake your ass, and we shake, like that. You shake, know, shake your ass and point. That, not, I'm point not saying that they don't make good music. It's just not they don't make the type of music that I, I want to hear them going back and forth beefing with. You know what I mean? Well, they don't make good music. Megan at least has. They make good club music. I play that shit in the club. Club music and, and like listening music is two different things. Mm -hmm. So they make you know they make good music for the for that type of atmosphere, but they uh yeah I'm not trying to uh, I don't want to hear no beef on wax with them. Have a twerk contest. Do that please. Then something <laughs> something, <laughs> something more productive. Right. The thing about their music is like it's. Their videos and their content is also good on mute. I don't have to hear anything that's going on. You just got to be able to see it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Real rap. That's why it's good club music because one, it's gonna cause women to shake their ass, uh, or you know, high energy, mm -hmm. and then two, when you see them doing it, they're shaking their ass. Other than that. I'm not listening to that shit like driving nowhere. I ain't shaking my ass. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's 
you know, that's the type of music that I definitely don't want to hear them beefing over nothing. Not a thing. Please have a twerk contest. I would so much rather appreciate that. That would actually be amazing. Amazing, amazing. So Meg signed a deal. Joe Rogan signed a deal. We need Joe Rogan money. Yeah, two. What was it? Two. Two hundred fifty million. Two fifty million. Two hundred fifty million. Quarter of a billion dollars. Quarter billion, and he's coming back to YouTube. Crazy. That that's that's wild. We need that. Like yeah, we need that. Who who <laughs> who, who gave him that money? Uh, Spotify. Spotify. Give yeah. us some. <laughs> Our shit's on Spotify. We need, to, yeah. we need to go sit down and talk with Spotify. Spotify, how can we make this right? Give give us twenty five million. Give, let's get two point five. Two point five. Two point five. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Sheesh. It's just you know Joe Rogan. It's a good podcast. Everybody's really tuned in. They be having the comedians on there. They smoke weed. They have fun. Yeah. They be chilling and shit. You know what I mean. I can't be mad at him. I'm not mad at him. I've never been mad at a Joe Rogan podcast. Now the nigga's up $250 million. What's the first thing you buying after you get a $250 million check? Well, this is us. So you probably get like a $100 million check. I'm going to take $100 million and put 50 back into the business. I'm sure that <laughs> he's breaking bread with mad people too, though. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. But like $100 million? Yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. We're definitely taking this to... No, but I'm saying though, like your personal check though, not the no, not the I'm business saying, check. We're, we're, no, we have to move. Like I'm getting, we're getting to somewhere where the weather's always nice. Oh, we're uprooting. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> this nigga want to do podcast from the beach now. Studios, Some... <laughs> the studio room in the front is not good enough for you no more. Nah, <laughs> we need, we're going. We're going to like L.A. We used to do this shit in his basement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. The house I get in LA, we're gonna have a whole beach house, so a pool house the dedicated house. for this. I'm gonna get a house on the East Coast and dedicated to the same thing. Then we're gonna see who, <laughs> how these podcasts go. <laughs> like you gotta come over here, nigga. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, we definitely could benefit with a, a little Joe Rogan check. Would you buy uh, Jordan sneakers that he played in with your money? The official six rings, mm-hmm. with the hundred million dollar check. Not, not all of it. I think they sold for eight million. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you pay ten for all six? Yeah, 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 hell yeah. Because I'm selling them, and I'm not selling them to one person. You wouldn't sell them like to the, like what if the Chicago Bulls was like? Look, we'll buy them off you. Give us, a, we'll give you a little ownership, two percent. That's very, very different. Percent is a high ass number, you know what I mean? Damn, the Chicago Bulls, that ain't bad. <laughs> I'm taking that deal. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anything less than that, <laughs> but nah, fucking yeah, those are that's like those are like Dragon Balls. So yeah. I'm never ever giving those to one person. I'm that's those are, those sneakers are being spread out <laughs> across the globe, and if one person wants to collect them again. Then he can try his damnedest. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be like the last person to make the wish. Real rap. Because I'm going to give those shits to all different types of I'm going to give this shit to a poor kid. I kid you not. But you don't do that. I'm doing it. He's going to like Mike the shit out of them shoes. Bro. And you got to find him. <laughs> you got to go into the, the depths of India. <laughs> and look, <laughs> where they have He's some sick. electricity or wherever kids be playing at. And he took them sneakers because it was way too big for him. And he threw them over something. They can just go right on. Wow, well, I don't know if they have power lines, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna give them to somewhere, go on top of somewhere shack. where there's power. This is me giving this the sneakers a, away. I'm so not, he can I'm throw not, them on the power I'm lines. I'm not going super far into the. If he wants to, they're gonna last up there. Nah, they're just gonna be fucked up. They're still gonna be the Jordans. Yeah. No matter what, like how you were never planning on putting them on. Nah. <laughs> they're gonna sit. In the this case. ain't like Mike. Yeah, they, that's what I said. They gonna like Mike. He gonna, he gonna try to put them on. He gonna try to duck and them shits gonna crumble. I don't know. I'm not buying no expensive celebrity clothes. I just seen the Montclair Jay Z shit. Yeah, that was that was a little pricey. Montclair's always been pricey though. Their stuff's not cheap. So I dig it. But now you throw Rock Nation into the mix and it's like Ugh. 
Yeah, that was. Yeah, I, I went to look. I, I seen uh, they posted the picture of Jay Z with the white jacket on, mm-hmm. and that's been on the back of it. But I couldn't like the way the picture was set up. You couldn't really read the whole thing. Right. So I was like, oh, let me go see what this says. What does it say? I, went, I can't remember. Oh, shit. I, <laughs> I can't. Niggas I seen it. the I seen the prices and everything else was like hell to the all. Oh yeah, for sure. I was like, oh no, I don't even need. I don't need to know what it says. Can't do it. Nah, I dig it. Well, speaking of Rock Nation, they canceled the brunch. Yeah, <laughs> no Rock Nation brunch this year. <laughs> if you thought you was going, you're not. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> even if you thought you could make it to the Rock Nation brunch. <laughs> Yo, could you imagine like the upper cover rappers like, yeah, this is my year. I'm going to the Rock Nation brunch. Nah, it's canceled. Wait a minute. Nah. I just got into the right circles for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, everything's clicking. Nah, it's not happening this year. Somebody said it's because they don't know how to tell Diddy he's not invited. I believe that. <laughs> wait till, wait till, <laughs> wait till, wait till Diddy bit. gets wait till Diddy gets locked up because we don't know how to break it to him that he can't be here and then we'll we'll start doing it while he's in prison. That's crazy. Did he a rich nigga? Did he have a fucking his hologram gonna be there mm-hmm. <laughs> when he's locked up? <laughs> For sure. That is crazy. Yeah, man. We need that Rogan money. We need uh to find a way on next year's Rock Nation brunch. And we need some sports guys that, to come in here and talk sports on our problematic the podcast circuit. You you I we get up to the rock brunch. I hope they give out Rolexes again. They gave out Rolexes at the Rock Brunch? You had to have that Rolex one to get in. Oh, so the Rolex was the ticket? Mm-hmm. Damn. I don't know what they did for the women, but I remember Meek Mill had one. He posted, like, the box of it, and he said, this is the invitation to the Rock Nation Brunch. That is crazy. A Rolex. A Rolex. And I was like, damn, Jay-Z is really a fucking billionaire, because that was some billionaire shit to do. Some billionaire shit to do. And it's just a brunch. Yeah. Who cooks at this brunch? Uh, all the Probably. pictures I've seen, these niggas was eating no food. Everybody, I'm sure there's food there, <laughs> but everybody's be drinking champagne. That's it. Having a good ass time. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking for the Duce spot. And the, the monogram, ain't that? I know they got some of that in the back. Hey, fuck the Rock Nation brunch. We a problematic brunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <We need to laughs> everybody wear suits. <laughs> Come outside and smell like, and smell fried fish. <laughs> Yo, fried fish is crazy. That's what niggas is gonna want around here. I mean, they might want, fried of course, fish. champagne, fried fish, and Beckett's. Oh my god, I, we could do that, nigga. Champagne and Beckett's. That'll go crazy. <laughs> we, we gotta take that off the pod for somebody to steal that. <laughs> Champagne and just mad Beckett's wings, nigga. We went over, we paid Beckett's a quarter million dollars for 40 wings, y'all. <laughs> a quarter million for 40 wings is crazy. <laughs> we got that Joe Rogan check, nigga. We got 40, <laughs> 40 wings from Beckett's. <laughs> oh, man. You can't go on dissing Beckett, man. That's my guy. Nah, yeah, that that's like, he, that's a staple in Redding. Yeah, yeah. I had some that's like Beckett's Blacktop. wings. Like blacktop, damn. <laughs> is that still around? Is it? I don't know. I hope so. Give me a blacktop jersey. The old one, though. Old school blacktop jersey? Mm-hmm. That old head, misdemeanor. Yeah, that shit would be a hit at the club. Old school blacktop jersey. <laughs> that would be crazy. You see, First of all, you see an old nigga in an old school blacktop jersey. You see a nigga in a mansion. Where the fuck you get that shit from, nigga? You still have that shit? If this is gonna be a mesh colored, like one solid color, because the 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 numbers and all that shit definitely wore off. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't care if you had that shit in a at a bin wrapped in plastic. That shit was sealed. <laughs> just was wearing off by the time the season was over. Hell, you sweat them shits right off. <laughs> you wash that jersey one time, and your numbers start leaning. <laughs> shit's been sliding down in front of the jersey, like. <laughs> right, but you was part of a fucking team, so mm-hmm. you enjoy. <laughs> oh man. I don't know, man. We up out of here. All right. Unless you want to talk about something else. No. I didn't think so. 